Senator, on Sunday, the New York Times reported that Trump paid just $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017, the year he was elected and his first year in office. And he paid none at all in 10 out of the 15 years prior. Now, the Times also reports that Trump has $421 million in personal debt that will come due within four years. My understanding is that substantial personal debt is one of the most common reasons security clearances, government security clearance, clearances are denied because it's so easily exploited or leveraged by foreign actors. Do you think that this is a matter of national security? Because it seems to be the case to me. Sonny, I agree with you. I think this is a very, very serious uh, issue. And when you have an individual who is so deeply in debt, uh, he is susceptible to blackmail and all kinds of uh, foreign influence. Uh, but what I found interesting last night, once again, is when uh, Chris Wallace confronted, asked the question about that, Trump blatantly lied. And he said, as you recall, I have paid millions and millions of dollars in federal income tax. Well, I say to Trump right now, today, if you have paid millions and millions of dollars, if you think the New York Times is fake news and is lying, then you can solve that problem. Show us your tax returns like every other presidential candidate has done. Expose the New York Times and show the American people that you really have paid your taxes. But the truth is, mm -hmm. Trump won't do that because he is blatantly lying. And by the way, on that issue, one of two things, or maybe two things are true. First of all, Trump has posed as a great, successful businessman. But according to the New York Times, in fact, he has lost money in his businesses year after year after year. Second of all, more likely or equally likely, he is a tax fraud who, unlike working people, does not pay his fair share of taxes. But your point is quite right. This deep debt that he holds is, in fact, a national security issue. Okay, Senator, let's talk about this other idea, the Supreme Court. Trump nominated Amy Coney Barrett over the weekend. She's very young, and this is a lifetime appointment. Uh, appointment. The Republicans are jamming it through. They're in such a rush to, to get her uh, confirmed. Um, and um, my, I don't think that we can do much about it, because Mitch McConnell has the power. Uh, the Dems don't have the power to do anything about this. Should we just accept the fact that this is who we're going to get and move on and focus on other things? Or is there an actual fight that can be had here? There is a fight that can be had. And the issue here, above and beyond Judge Barrett's views, which I strongly disagree with, is, as you have indicated, the process. As I understand it, what the Republicans would like is to have a vote on her confirmation literally four days before we elect the next president of the United States, who may very well not be Donald Trump. But I think also what people have got to recognize, and some people don't, is that when we talk about the Supreme Court, what we are talking about right now is whether or not the Affordable Care Act will be ruled unconstitutional. She will rule, I believe, to make it unconstitutional. That means 20 million more Americans are going to lose their health insurance. If you are a woman who believes that you have the right to control your own body, you have a right in terms of abortion and not the federal or state or local government, she is going to rule, I believe, to overturn Roe versus Wade. So this, nomina this nomination is extremely important. But let me just also say this. I know a lot of people last night were dispirited by the debate, including me. But please do not forget, this is not just about Donald Trump or Joe Biden. This is about you. This is about who is uh, going to fight Senate, the ordinary Senator, people. I hate to go. I hate to do this to you. I have to, I have to stop you. Please forgive us. We thank you for coming. We love when you come because it's always a good discussion. We'll